in this video, we will continue on with what we had in the previous part, where we created a CSV file and we extracted the data inserted in our in our chart.js chart here. And what we want to do now is basically add up the multiple items here, plus having these labels here match. So you can see here the tooltip has the name of the labels. It's also here in the legend. It shows nicely everywhere. So let's start next for how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on the labels from the CSV file with chart.js, which is a part two. So if you watch, make sure you watch the previous video first before you continue on with this one. So, all right, so we have our file here. Now, what I want you to explore here more right now, if you click on this array, we have in total of an array of nine values. But what we also have is the columns here. And this is very, very useful. Because right now we have these number of votes here. And I'm not satisfied with that. Because we have now the number of votes and it's not practical. What we can do here first is what I will, or what I will do here basically is this. We're going to create a multi-bar chart. Secondly, we're going to extract or insert all of these here. And afterwards, we want to make sure that the label is matching with our columns that we have. So that would make a lot of sense. So let's work with that first. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, well, I can just duplicate this. We're going to duplicate this two more times. All right. So once I have this duplicated, I will remove one of the colors here in every row. So it will be just very clean and minimal space. All right, that's the one. And this one as well will be same red. Remove all of this, including these brackets. And make sure you have a comma at the end here. All right, so once we have this, next one will be the cost. I'll just remove the second or keep the second one. And comma, and finally we have this one here. Delete all of this stuff and a comma and put all of this here back or remove this. So now we have that. Finally, the third one, I'll just grab the fourth value, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a green design. There we are. And there we are. All right, comma. So once I save this and I refresh, you can see everything is still consistent, which is normal. All right, what I want to do here now is I want to change that. So we have here all of these blank arrays here, which, we'll, which we look through here. So we have here the profit array it will be here. And then, and then we can just put in here the revenue array. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have this match as well. If I save this right now and refresh, you can see we have all these values now matching and they're different. It's beautiful. However, the votes here, or the number of votes, or this label here, of course, doesn't make sense. So how do we change this? Well, let's look at what we saw here very clearly. If you click on this, and this is still the console log of the data points, showing every data point we have. And what we want to do here is basically look at this one here, which says the columns. So we have all of these numbers of arrays, which is basically an index, but this one, it has a different key name or key value pair, I guess. And the key value pair here is column. So that's the key name. And then here we have the value. So we're going to grab here the columns with an S. That's what we're going to grab. How do we grab them? Well, very similar to what we did here with the data points. All we want to do is the following. We can say here, console.log. And then we say here, we can grab the data points dot columns and then here basically in here we can indicate the columns which number we want one two or, or sorry zero one or two remember this is inside here this is just slightly different because there's no numbering here here we had a number on the data points now we have the number only on the column so if i say here zero zero equals the value of cost or the name of cost. So if I do one, it would be the second one would probably be profit. If I refresh here, there we are profit and etc. etc. So what we could do here is just basically this. We can adjust this. We say here columns zero. We put this one in here. It will be number one and finally here 
number two. Save that and refresh. You can see now we have cost, profit, and revenue shown here. And now if you hover over it, you can see the values are matching and of course the tooltip matches as well. Beautifully. So this is one of the ways to do it. And of course, you can do still a bit more. Maybe we should give it here proper numbering based on the length that we have here because our labels right now is still missing some items. We have no other items here. This could be black. And this could be uh, brown. And probably, if I'm not mistaken, there were nine values here. This is six, so black, brown, and finally we have pink. So if I save this right now, refresh, we have now a total of one, two, three, three, nine values as well, showing properly. Of course, this could be as well automated. However, you have to check what kind of values you have here. Because if you would have more here, let's say this would be... Uh, line a refresh here it will draw a extra item here but there's no data points for that so we could do basically a for loop here with a certain array where we can grab or extract these labels and and loop through them that but that might be possible you can just give it a numbering here we just add a number and we push it as well into this here however these are just all options that you can consider Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.